हेलो वेलकम बैक टू अनादर वीडियो एस प्रॉमिस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो टुडे आई विल शो यू ऑन हाउ टू इंस्टॉल द आई ए जी एल एड ऑन ऑन टू योर कोडी सो दैट यू कैन प्ले सम रेट्रो गेम्स सो वॉट इज आई ए जी एल आई ए जी एल मीन्स आई एम गुड लुकिंग <laughs> it's not funny yeah that's what my wife used to say none of my jokes is funny anyway moving on first of all before you do anything else get yourself a nice looking controller and this case i'm using a more cute controller it's wireless i don't know i have i have uh, something to do with uh, wireless i think i love wireless controller So this is uh, what I'll be using on my Raspberry Pi. In case you haven't watched the previous video, it's about how we install Kodi OS on our Raspberry Pi 3B, yeah? So, get yourself a good controller. Uh maybe a wired controller. It's up to you, you know. I prefer to use wireless. I don't know why, but uh, I love wireless things. wireless charging wireless phone oh my god everything is wireless anyway so before you can uh install the IAGL add-on you need to configure this controller onto your Kodi you know Kodi installation so uh in our last video we installed a few add-ons that is uh, for watching movies uh, YouTube and video so so in this uh in this video i'm going to show you how to install the uh, iagl uh which is not i am good looking it is internet archive game launcher that means it just launches game you know whatever game you want i personally like retro games uh you know because uh i grew up in that uh you know playing uh Super Nintendo games, you know, uh, playing uh, games such as Mario, Super Mario, Bomberman, Contra, uh, Donkey Kong, you know, Shoot the Duck, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of memories, you know. So few years after that, uh, after a few years, I I still love those games. Anyway, I'm talking too much, I think. So I will show you how to configure the controller first. So on your Kodi, yeah, just go on to my add-ons and then go down here. You can see Libre Elec configuration. Click on it. See now I'm using my controller because I already configured it uh, to save me some time. Because most of the time I'll be like. Ah, uh, how do I do this? How do I do that? So today I came prepared, you know. I came prepared just for you guys. <laughs> I mean, that's so nice of me, right? Like, uh, the exam is tomorrow. I have to study before I come. Else, uh, this video will serve no purpose because you guys don't know what I am doing, and I don't know what am I doing. You know, same goes on with my life. I'm not pretty sure what I'm doing with my life. But anyway, moving back. Okay, moving back to the 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 Libre Elec configuration, yeah. Just click on it. When you click on it, you'll see a few options there, right? System updates, network connections, Bluetooth services and about. Just go to Bluetooth. And then, as you can see, I have connected my 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 uh You see there there are so many uh, bluetooth devices so i have connected i have already connected my controller there here you can see as uh, you can see i already connected the uh, bluetooth controller over there so my controller is already connected but you can't use it yet so if after you have connected your controller you know via bluetooth and you still can't play yet I mean none of the buttons are working so 
you need to configure it in another page yeah so just connect it so i'll show you how to connect yeah yeah the first option will be connect because since mine is connected so i'll show you disconnect so just connect your bluetooth controller and then exit this page yeah and then you go to gear the gear symbol which is settings let's click on that and then go to setting system click on it and as you can see there's a level here which is expert so toggle it to expert if you want to unlock all the all the settings yeah if you put it to basic and then you you can see only only a few options only a few options there you know so if you are good you know just go to standard or advanced i always click on expert even though i don't know what am i doing you know i just click on expert and i click on import you can see there's a column there you know configure attach controllers just click on it and then my controller profile for this is Cody, you know and i already configured this controller so you can see my face buttons and everything if let's say you want to configure a controller just go forward and then when it says press a just press a you know just press a b x and y see Oh. See, nothing works because I have uh, screwed up the configuration of the controller. So what I'll do here, let's say, if let's say I screwed up my controller configuration, I can always use my remote, you know. In the previous video, we have used this remote right here. So what I will do here is I'll configure back this controller. So what I'll do, I'll just press A, B, X, Y, and then start. Yeah. That's all I think. So now my app is working. So I'll just click OK for now. Ah, I thought I was well prepared and then I had this screw up. So once you have configured your controller, do not worry about it. So just go to add-ons, right? I'm sorry, you have to exit. So just go back and See, in order to install it, yeah. Hello. So, for some reason, uh, my controller wasn't working until I rebooted this uh, software, you know. So, in case after you have, if after you have set everything, and that uh, your controller doesn't work just go up here and you see that button there power button just press that and uh, reboot your system so for now my controller is working so i'll just go to add-ons yeah so we need to have the iagl as i told you i am good looking no that is not that i'm sorry it is internet archive game launcher so in order to get this add-on you'll just go to install from repository click on that and then just go to Kodi add-on repository and then look for game add-ons yeah click on it and then uh, just uh, standalone games you know oh sorry I got you the wrong repository 
It's a Cody Game Add-on Repository. My bad. So, just go to this add-on. It's called The Zack Morris. I'm not so sure who is this Zack Morris. But thanks to him, I'm able to play some retro games on my Raspberry Pi. Yeah, installed with Cody. Okay, so just install this. And then, after you have installed this uh, add-on, yeah, just go to install from repository again and then all repositories and then game add-ons oh I'm sorry Okay, when you install Zach Morris add-ons Okay Yeah You should see under the repository you'll have Zach Morris add-ons, yeah? So Again Go to Install from repository Click on Kodi game add-on click on add-on repository then zach morris add-on and then you go back when you see zach Mo morris add-ons here just click on it and then just click on game add-ons game provider and then you can see internet archive game launcher which is i am good looking okay install this yeah once you have installed it you can just go and click open so so far, you can see, okay, I have this by category, by list. Oh, if you want the older games, you can choose whatever games you want. So, I've set this controller as a Xbox 360 controller, wireless controller, right? So, I will uh, try to find some games that will be able to utilize all these buttons on this controller. So I will just go and uh, choose browse by category. Of course, I like, uh, you know, they have 8-bit games. I'm not so sure how good is the 8-bit games. Not a fan of it. Can go for 1970s, 80s game, 90s, 2000, uh, Atari, Bandai, Commodore, X, Karaoke, Magnavox, Metal. Oh, so many games. So I'll just go to Nintendo because all, all good games come from Nintendo, right? So I'll just go to Super Nintendo, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Yes. My childhood games, yeah? See. So I'll just go and click on alphabetical. If it takes some time to load, so all the good games like Super Mario, Street Fighter and everything starts with S, right? Just click on S and then just choose your game, you know? Ah, uh, it's this Super Mario. Hmm, they have Star Trek. Sim City. Oh, okay, not bad. Ah, they have Street Fighter. Okay, let's see whether this works. Street Fighter 2. This game came out in 1992. Let's see. So, in this uh, add on, you I think you cannot save the game or you cannot download the game. You can just play the game for the fun of it. You know, I'll just play the game. You know, I, 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 I do, I hate like saving the game and having profiles and so on. Because uh, I don't play game 24-7. My wife hates me if I do that. You know, how many beatings have I received from my wife because playing game? Uh, never mind, leave my sad story to me, to myself. 
let me mourn for my 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 sad sad life <laughs> i'm just kidding my wife loves me she hates me because she loves me i think so but anyway it says it's downloading but i'm not so sure it's maybe it's downloading the rom but i'm not so sure where does the rom go where's the location for the rom anyway you can choose any emulator i don't find anything different between the let's say if your game is not working just choose a different emulator so for now i'll choose the first one which is the snes slash sfc petal bsnes emulator right Oh, then yeah, it's licensed by Nintendo. So, to have a Pi, yeah, to have a Raspberry Pi 3B running all days, it, it's quite good, you know. You can play videos, you can play games. Ah, I have Street Fighter on my hotel TV. Wow, I like this. I'll just press start, yeah. Versus battle, I don't have another player unless you wanna come, come over. Oh. <laughs> anyway, just press the game start. Yeah, I will just start the game. Oh, sorry. Oh, looks like it's lagging. Yeah. Maybe I'll try a different emulator because I think the voice, it's, uh, the sound, it's lagging, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's lagging. So I will exit this game because it's, it's, it's lagging, yeah? Uh, let's see how about other games. So it all depends on your ROM, you know. Some of the ROMs, they work good. Like the other day, you know. Some of the uh, video add-ons are working and some, they don't. You know. How about this Street Fighter Alpha 2 USA? Hmm, let's try this, yeah. But anyway, uh, there are plenty of games here you can try, you know. You can try playing all the old school games. Uh, so for this you don't need to download all the ROMs and save it, you know. So I'll try, I'll try the, the, another, okay, I'll try the same, same, uh, same emulator. And let's see. Maybe I need to change the emulator, yeah. Let's go to settings. Let's exit, yeah. Let's exit. Let's try another emulator, yeah. Launch it. I'll try the second emulator. Yeah. I have high hopes on this emulator. Looks good. Yeah. See. So there you go. If you first emulator doesn't work, try the second emulator. Yeah. Ah, oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Ah, Street Fighter Alpha 2. Oh, look at Chun-Li, yeah? So, 
so let's see if we can yeah arcade mode okay let's see i'm not so good uh, what is the gem that i like the most so. okay in case see i'm doing this on a if i'm not wrong it's a it's a 42 inch or 50 inch tv i'm not so sure but the re resolution does matter you know so maybe if you are playing it on a 14 or 17 or 19 inch uh, screen it'll be just nice you know so uh, i'm sorry for the poor poor uh, the graphics and you can see on the right side you can see there's a there's a thermometer there's a temperature uh, there's a temperature uh, alert for the uh, raspberry pi so in the previous video i told you that you still need a fan for your pi because when you are gaming you know you still need the ic to cool down so for now i'm just showing you uh, that uh, i <clears throat> I'm able to play these uh, retro games. So sooner or later I will buy a fan for this uh, Pi, you know, so that uh, it doesn't overheat that much, yeah. So I'll just start. I'll go into the game. Okay, I need to find this Mr. Bison also. Oh as you can see the temperature yes the temperature so you need some adequate cooling for your pie yeah so just keep in mind yeah okay ah it's not that bad it's not lagging yeah ah oh look at that i still remember my combo moves <laughs> ah mr bison Yes, please die. Time is the bison. Oh. Okay. Not bad, not bad. See? It's good, it's good. So not bad, not bad. So let's go to other games, yeah. Let's go to other games, yeah. So I will just exit this, and then I'll go to other games such as Super Mario, something like that. Oh, there's Donkey Kong, yeah. Oh, Donkey Kong. Oh, there's so many, so many retro games, yeah. Okay, just click on this for Mario World. Oh, this is. Uh, I'll just use the second one, yeah? Because the first one sucked. Can I eat this apple? No. Oops. 
Ah. My memory of Super Mario is a bit different. Maybe it's just Super Mario. Oh no. But anyway, just to show you that we can play all these games, yeah. So I think that concludes this video, yeah. Anyway, please do do get a fan unit for your Pi because uh, it'll be running hot. As you can see now, you don't have the thermometer. It depends on the game, I guess. So maybe Street Fighter is using more memory, more RAM. That's why the CPU gets hot and so on. You know, more input output. I'm not so sure. So I hope you can try this, you know, can try this uh, add-on. Which is a good add-on, yeah. See? So I'll be watching some TV, you know, movies, you know. And uh, using my Zumo, Zumo movies and TV add-on. Which I got, you know. And I hope to see you all the next time. Bye-bye. Love you. Take care. And I hope you can try this at home. Okay? Bye.